was one of the biggest games in recent Sun Devil men's basketball history. In front of a sold out Wells Fargo Arena, ASU took on their arch rival, the Arizona Wildcats. It was a highly anticipated rematch that had plenty of storylines. Bobby versus Sean, Arizona's bigs versus ASU's guards. And the game got started in only the right way any big event should. An intro from boxing announcer, Michael Buffer. <laughs> Initially, ASU didn't answer the bell. The Wildcats came out swinging and landed a few haymakers that had ASU stunned, jumping out to a 33-16 lead. ASU responded with some help from the tray ball. They went on a scoring spree of their own and even landed their own power punch that had Wells Fargo Arena rocking. After erasing a 15-point deficit in the first half, ASU went into the break down by just one point. After halftime, the tide began to turn. Cody Justice was phenomenal all night as he had 19, including two big threes, to open up the second half, giving ASU a seven-point advantage. This matchup was a game of runs, but ultimately ASU's demise came on the glass. Oh, and DeAndre Aiden's pretty good too. The big fella, like on most nights, couldn't be stopped. He had a monster night with 25 points and 16 rebounds. Arizona kept dialing his number, and ASU didn't have an answer. ASU ran out of gas, and Trier's three-point dagger sealed the game. And Arizona escaped with a 77-70 victory. It was tough. I mean, to be on the losing end of this, it was tough for not just us, but for, like you said, this community, for the fan base. It, it was just tough all the way around. This loss drops ASU to 19-7 on the season and back to 500 in conference play. There's still a lot of basketball to be played and plenty of room for improvement. Up next, ASU will have a chance to get back on the winning side of things in a pair of road games versus the Oregon schools. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Chancellor Johnson.